Sometimes you've just got to marvel at the brilliance of technology and the ingenuity of the minds behind it. In one of the greatest scientific advances ever, doctors and engineers have developed the bionic eye. Giving sight to the blind is now a reality. The technology's in its early stages, but already it's changing lives. People who've been completely blind for decades are now able to distinguish shapes, light and movement. Larry Hester is about to see for the first time in more than 30 years. Everybody ready? He has no idea what to expect after living in darkness for so long. The surgeon counted down from three. <laughs> he said, OK, let's do it. So three, two, one, start stimulation. Start stimulation. Yes. All of a sudden, flashes of light, the brightest light. They understand I haven't seen light in 34 years almost. And so these flashes of light come on and it was so bright, I think my head actually... It you know, rocked back, yeah. It rocked back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, Can you see you? Larry? Yes. Oh yeah. my goodness. And no one is more excited about his new bionic eye than his wife of 46 years, Jerry. Can I give him a kiss? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Can you really see? Yes. Oh, He's my flashing. goodness. It was like, I need up. to get there with, to be with Larry to see him, to make sure <laughs> that he was really, can you really see? <laughs> so what can you see of me, Larry? Now, I'm focusing in and there are flashes around you. So you're kind of silhouetted for the most part. Larry is looking at me right now with his bionic eye. What is it, is it like? It's kind of like haloed around. I look like an angel is what you're saying. <laughs> Using a camera mounted on his glasses, Larry can make out light, movement and shapes in black and white. And what is, you've got something going down your shirt. I've got a, a oh, white stripe. You've got Can a you white see that? Oh, that's amazing. Good for you, Larry. Oh, <laughs> Did you see it? That's what that is. That's new. That's nice. Yeah. I like that. Thank you. The father of two went completely blind at the age of 36, just three years after learning he had the rare eye disease retinitis pigmentosa. It's a disease, a degeneration of the cells in the retina. And at the time, the doctor said, uh, there's no cure for it. We don't know what causes it. Uh, you, you're going to lose your sight. It to was devastating for us. Mm -hmm. Larry was told he had no hope of ever seeing the world again, until last year, when a bionic eye, known as the Argus II, was approved for use in the United States. This was really your first glimmer of hope you'd had in yes. 33 years. Yes. yes. We were dancing around the kitchen. I'm telling you, we were, we were and, and so excited. seeing me dance is not pretty, but... <laughs> A camera in the centre of the glasses captures what Larry sees and sends it wirelessly to a chip implanted in the back of the eye. The chip turns the images into pulses of electricity that basically trick the brain into believing it can see. And they can't see what you and I can see. They're just seeing flashes of, of light in black and white. Correct, and, and levels of grayscale. So mm. the, way, the way I like to describe it to some people is it's like a very blurry black and white television. Dr. Robert so, Greenberg so is the creator of the Argus II. This is the, the really delicate part that actually sits and goes inside the eye itself. The bionic eye was an idea that came to him at university. He thought it would take one year and a million dollars to develop. 25 years 
and $200 million later, his persistence is paying off. I was certainly influenced by the, uh, the Six Million Dollar Man uh, television program. And so I think science, science fiction often becomes science, science fact and inspires people. Well, it sounds preposterous that you're going to make a blind person see again. I think the majority reaction was that I was crazy and that it was impossible. Each tiny implant takes six months to build. This would be one of the cleanest labs in the world. What they're doing in here is making the electrodes that will form the main part of the implant. And on that implant, they'll have 60 electrodes. If one speck of dust gets in that, the whole thing will be destroyed. Hi. Oh, would you please do that? Vince Yanis has never seen his grandchildren. The 57-year-old was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa as a child. You can sit on this. But in a few days, the light will come back when he gets his bionic eye. <laughs> I said, oh my God, I better color my hair. And he said, yeah, don't scare me. I, I said, if you think you're going to be scared when you see me, wait till you look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> And she made me think twice about whether I want to see or not. Yeah. For decades, he's relied totally on the eyes of his wife, Ellen. Did it frighten you, going blind? Yeah, um, it angered me more than it frightened me because I don't accept my blindness. How do you feel hearing him say that, Ellen? It's hard. Let's play something red. Now all Vince can think about is the whole new world that's about to open up for him. My cane is red? No. No? So is it my cup? Yes. Huh? It is? Yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't know. That's a good one. The glasses that you're about to put on are not the glasses that the patients wear, but is a simulation that we've put together to give you an idea of what the patients might be seeing. Oh, wow. Today, Dr. Greenberg wants to give me an idea of what Vince will see when he gets his bionic eye. See, That's I, not what I, I was expecting at all. As I move side to side, you can kind of make out the, uh, where, I, where I am. Yeah, so when you do that, I can see your eyes. Do you mind if I reach out? No, go ahead. I think go ahead. that that is your nose. Got it. Yeah. Bingo. It takes a great deal of concentration but by scanning left to right and up and down, I'm able to make out shapes, letters and numbers. That's an O? Yeah. That's an L? Yeah. That's really clear, that. For a blind person, this would be extraordinary. I can see the outline of my fingers. Now that I've seen what Larry sees, I want to put him to the test. Right, see how clever you are now. <laughs> it might seem like a simple task, following a white line. But it's a real challenge for someone who, without the glasses, can't see a thing. Nice. There's no fooling you. <laughs> Larry must really focus to interpret the black and white flashes he's seeing. Bingo. That's the end. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you could. You could. And though it sounds incredibly simple, just being able to walk that line, it means a lot. Oh, I've never seen him turn an ankle like that. That's the first time he's ever done that. It's a very, very significant. I want to say, can I give him a kiss? You can <laughs> give him a kiss. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm a little nervous. Today, it is Vince's turn to see again. I'm starting to get butterflies. <laughs> okay. 
Coming up... After living in darkness for more than 20 years, Vince is now just moments away from getting his sight back. Seeing his wife Ellen, his kids and his grandson Jaden, who he's never laid eyes on. Everyone is excited but tense because Vince's life is about to change. What's going to happen today? His eyes are going to turn on. <gasps> His eyes are going to turn on. <laughs> Vince Yarnes has been blind for more than 20 years, but the 57-year-old is now just seconds away from seeing again when his bionic eye is turned on. All right, Vincent, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, we're going to do a I countdown, OK? OK. Three, two, one. I don't know. There is a dreadful moment where everyone thinks it has failed. I don't know that I'm seeing anything, guys. But then Vince looks up at the ceiling lights. You can see the oh, lights up there. This is, it's getting brighter. It's taking a little time, but it's kind of working. <sighs> Look at that. Slowly, he gains his confidence. Oh, I can see my hand kind of move. Yeah, that's what you're doing. <laughs> oh, wow. And for the first time, he catches a glimpse of his grandson. Is that your face? Is that what faces are going to look like? It's like a big white circle? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, in a beautiful moment, he reaches for his wife, Ellen. This is right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a face. Is that a face? Grandma's face. Grandma's face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've seen her for a long time. <laughs> wow. Is it pretty amazing that you can touch your face like that? Yes. I don't know. Pretty amazed. Once outside, the world starts opening up for Vince. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's right that's there. a pole. Oh, it is? Yeah. <laughs> Go feel it. Take a few steps. Are you serious? Oh, look at that. <laughs> I thought that was far way over there. <laughs> that is nuts. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to tell that before. While it's all very new and overwhelming for Vince, this is what he has to look forward to. All right, okay. Go shoot a ball, man. Who would have thought it possible? A blind man yes. shooting hoops with his grandkids. The fairy lights allow Larry to see the hoop. You see the light? There it is. There it is. <laughs> you see him? Oh, yeah. Good. And he's not a bad shot. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> the bionic eye has given Larry a quality of life he and his wife, Jerry, never dreamed of. And it's even brought the romance back. There it is. Can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> you never tire of doing that, do no, you? No, it's, it's wonderful. And I, I know we act like kids and it's probably not pretty for old folks to act like that, but how can you not be Who's overjoyed? Old? Who's old? <laughs> They're always fun to do that, aren't they? It yes. is miraculous. It is. It's so significant to have that light because having that light means that I see in my own unique way, I see. And it, that's pretty special. Hello, I'm Alison Langdon. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.